healthy eating and living guide. Happy cow. As far as the Keystone Pipeline XL, do you have any updates on that as far as what's going on? Well, you know, they're also starting to um, take that oil by, by boat and by, by a train, and there was actually another train derailment last night, the second mm -hmm. one in Canada and I think the last month. So it's, um, uh, you know, we just basically need to get off fossil fuels. It's not just about the pipeline. It's about fracking in California. This is going to start fracking the fault line. Not a good idea. Um, it's about, um, you know, mountaintop removal, all of these things. So the message is we need to get off fossil fuels. We know how to create energy and power and fuel other yes. ways and that's what we need to start doing because we're killing ourselves and every other living thing at the same time. Yes. You know, There's a very important message as far as becoming vegan. Why is veganism important as far as energy use for those people who don't know? Well, especially the way that agriculture is done today, you know, we, we uh, have these industrial farms and they are not only um, inhumane to the creatures, um, but they also, because the way that they also keep these creatures and feed these creatures with things that they wouldn't normally eat um, and, and treat them, they are, they are producing massive amounts of pollution and methane into our atmosphere, which is a more potent uh, greenhouse gas than carbon. So it's actually um, a you know, one of the most uh, 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 dangerous things in terms of exacerbating the climate crisis. So uh, something that, that uh, has an incredible impact. If you become a, ve a vegetarian or a vegan, it instantly, uh, you know, cuts down your own, you know, contribution to, to our climate chaos. Yes. Thank you, Daryl. Bye-bye. Healthy eating and living guide, happy cow.